Hey, it's Guy Sebastian here. I'm here with my wife, Jules, and uh, we set up the Sebastian Foundation a number of years ago to make an impact in the youth mental health space. We have done that by partnering with a clinical psychologist by the name of Dr. Hayley Watson, who has created a program called Open Parachute. It is research-based and clinically proven. The program is tailored towards kindy to year 12s and it is peer-to-peer -peer. so these kids are watching real kids tell real stories about issues they have faced in their lives like depression, anxiety and it gives them the mental skills to be able to cope with this before it becomes too overwhelming. We've partnered with a company called eThread to help us reach even more kids whilst tackling a huge environmental issue. Talk us through eThread, what are you guys all about? So we're a sustainable recycling textile waste company that also specializes in resource recovery of collecting clothes and donated items to our collection centers. Reuse, repurpose uh, as a circular economy, that's what we try, that's what we drive. And nothing goes into landfill? No. Nothing. All recycled, sorted? Correct. We can actually report really transparently on ESG and from every kilo that we collect, we can report on how, how much savings we actually get from carbon emissions and water savings, mm. as well as social and community benefits. It's so circular, which is what I love. Everyone yeah. wins in this yeah. and you're doing something great for the environment. There's so many kids that yeah. eThread are helping put through this program. For every bin that Campbelltown City Council puts out, per week puts through two kids to the program. Right now there's 17 sites, there's say 30 bins, that's 60 kids a week. And uh, this, this is a very unique program because it, it blends together two key aspects for local government. It's about these kids' welfare and their mental health and at the same time it blends in with the sustainability and the circular economy. And it's great for us to be able to blend our responsibility in one program that achieves too many great things. It, yeah. it's, it's been really good. Actually, it's been one of our most successful programs yeah. we've done. So I'm very proud of our achievement. Since we started implementing the program in our wellbeing check-ins, a lot of the comments that I'll read about uh, incidents that might have happened at lunchtimes, students will reference the program as a way of how they dealt with those issues at lunchtime. So they'll say, I tried to do A, B and C after what we did in the open parachute lesson. So it's been really pleasing to see how they've started to incorporate that into the way they navigate those situations themselves. We also share the open parachute resources with our parent community online through newsletters. So if we're seeing situations pop up, whether it's friendship issues or if there's some anxiety happening around particular things, then we can send out information around anxiety and how to help your children manage those worries. So we're supporting the children at school through Open Parachute, but also supporting our families at home. In actual fact, the Open Parachute program has made life much easier for the teachers to address the personal development and health curriculum that they teach within their classroom. The thing I love about the program is it's teaching us the skills and they're in our backpack and when we do need them, it's there to pull on that we can use just like a parachute to stop us from falling. A huge thank you to eThread and Campbelltown City Council for sharing our passion in youth mental health. And particularly Mayor George Grace, you've set such a fantastic example for other councils to follow. If you want to find out more, jump onto our website, thesebastianfoundation.org.